How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to Planet Coaster, episode number three for our little challenge mode here. Um, I After last episode, I had to clean up a few things. Um, I forgot to, when we moved that ride, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the airplane type of ride, um, I forgot to put the exit in. Um, so I went ahead and had to restructure that, uh, the, the queue for that ride, placed the exit. I went ahead and placed a couple more stalls in, uh, like a drink stall and I think it might be another food stall. Um, I put in some more decorations here on the left, as you can see, some rocks and uh, restructured some trees around this swing ride here because it was going through a tree. Got a little booty hideout type of area right there. And then right here is the, uh, the shops that I put in to fill in this void that was right here. I tried to put like a little pond area in, but it just didn't look right. So I just went ahead and I placed in a pirate themed um, building in as our person decided to get into a ride. So let's go ahead and kind of cruise through here. Everything's really starting to get rid of this. Everything's really starting to come together with the scenery, especially around this ride here. Um, once again, all these rides are not named. Hammer Swing 1, um, then, I mean, so for those who would like to try to help out and try to get this as interactive as possible, try to rename these rides if you can come up with ride names, like Teacups 1, to, you know, stuff like that. Um, so that way we can actually get legitimate ride names and also the park name. So, like I said, a little hide out there or a pirate kind of try to hide its treasure. And then around here, I went ahead and placed in a drink shop. Well, a couple drink shops, actually. <laughs> Excuse me. Just had some uh, sushi. Yeah, lovely. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we got a couple more drink shops and I'm thinking about putting in some food over here too somewhere if I can and then I noticed there's a lot of uh, vomit coming down off of this ride and um, even off of this ride surprisingly so and then also people had to go to the bathroom so I just dropped in another one of these buildings here which is one of the buildings that I created so if you like how that looks I mean it's very simple and plain looking but if you'd like to, I can upload it to the Steam Workshop, so that way you can use it. And you can add to it, you know, or subtract from it, however you please. Um, and like I said, there was a tree, like, right here. But when this swing comes down through, it was going right through that tree. I didn't realize it, so I ended up moving it right here. Um, and this tree here can kind of probably you can get rotated a little bit, but it's not a big deal. So, um, and then, let me get my bearing straight here, and then down here, that one little piece that was sticking out, if I can get the camera to work for me here, that one piece right here that was sticking into the, uh, information stall, I ended up moving it. I just moved it back over here to this side, so it, I know what they were trying to do right here is like basically like the hull of the ship, um, trying to connect the two sides of the ship together, but I could have deleted it all together and it wouldn't have been that big of a deal, but I decided to keep it and just double it up that way. Um, I moved the picnic benches. Why is this closed? Um, okay. I don't remember that happening that's kind of weird we'll let that go through its test cycle but I moved the picnic benches from over here and I widened this area out here to try to get you know more food and stuff over here possibly like a food court type deal right there 
But the one thing that I do want to do is try to start off with our restaurants and hotels and stuff like that. And there's no food on this side of the park, but there is food, you know, one food thing. There's a chief beef right there, right as soon as you come in. Um, oh, the other thing too, I put a little uh, scenic type deal, entertainment point. And we have a couple entertainers now. Um, let's see, staff and entertainers. We have Captain Lockjaw and Miss Ellie. I can go ahead and do that. And we do have a couple vendors that could probably be upgraded from the two drink stall, drink stalls, drink stalls that we placed in. But I have Captain Lockjaw like locked to this. So when he is done resting, he'll come back over here and he'll just stand in this area. And I made a little path going around the fountain over here. I put some decorations in around the fountain that was already there. And uh, that way he can stand here and people can actually bypass the main pathway and actually be entertained. And then Miss Ellie, oh, there she is right there, actually. Um, she's strolling around the park doing her own thing. I figured I'd let her just roam and uh, just entertain guests all over the rest of the park. So, um... Shops and facilities, blueprints, restaurant. I think I had a pirate themed pirate. Yes, pirate pirate restaurant. $15,042.50. We have $31,000. Oh my. That is, uh. Why does it seem like it's missing something up top? Oh, it's still loading in. Okay, got it. Alright, um. Except for this needs to be brought down a bit. Uh, where can we slap this? Can we rotate it around maybe? And I think that boat needs to be pretty much level with the ground the way it looks. But then there's some netting there too. I wonder if the boat needs to be kind of sunk. So let's go ahead and if I lower down that much then okay so the pirates actually sitting on the ground there we'll go ahead and uh, is that good now you can't see the pirates feet raise it up to see the pirates feet Rotate that around right there. Raise it up a bit more. And right there. Do that. Now this restaurant already has one, two, three, four, five, six. How many more does it have? Seven, eight, nine. 10 expansions, except for an adult venue. Um, it's got Planko menu, Chief Beef. We already have a Chief Beef. Let's, um, let's get rid of Chief Beef. We don't want to double it up. Let's do... What should we do? What is, like, a pirate-themed... Maybe... Not sushi, just ribbon, Professor Worst, maybe Tiki Cheeky? Does that sound tropical type of- yeah, it's more of a tropic type. Do spicy chicken, plain chicken, coconut chicken, hot wings. That sounds pretty good actually. Hot wings? Oh yeah. Um, then we have Monsieur Frites? 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 I don't know. It's fries, triple baked fries. Big potato fries, but that's not really, that's not really tropical either, is it? What is, ooh, there's like, uh, ice cream, sugary emporium, what's this? Grapes. 
Um, Missy Good is donuts. Must be like, okay. Stay Puff, that's like candy stuff. Plain Cheerios. Who doesn't like. Yeah, you know what? We'll do Cheerios. Let's get rid of the fries. You know what? Uh, I don't want to have too much stuff though. Because people get confused on what to order. And then. We already have Cosmic Cow. We have a Gulpy. We got a Pip, pip Shop. We want to do a Street Fox Hello. Coffee in here. Hello. Nah. Alright. Uh, price. Lifetime running cost, 297. How am I making money? Nobody's able to go in there. Oh, that's lifetime running cost. Duh. Alright. Uh, path. Uh, wit. Let's see if we can connect this up. Do I want it to slope like that? Yeah, why not? Slope it down like that. And people should be able to start going there, but what I want to do is go back to my information stall. It's not as easy to grab now. I gotta actually zoom in to grab it now. There we go. That advertised destinations. You can see it's pretty much everything. I got 16 out of 50 right now, so this information stall has a little bit of room left in it. Now it's got six or 20 out of 50. Oh, because these weren't in there before. Okay. Confirm that. So now. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Okay. I see you, peeps. I see you. People wanted that, didn't they? Let's see if that goes up any. There's some seating areas back here. Is this a path? Or is this all just decoration? That's just all decoration. Those aren't actual seating for people. We gotta line out the door. People are waiting to get in. Lifetime profit though. Okay, so what are people thinking of it? Nothing yet. Oh wait, let's go to this one. Uh... Caribbean Flavor Restaurant is a fancy restaurant. Is well decorated. I guess we'll try out Caribbean Flavor Restaurant then. Okay. Alright, so I have a feeling it's going to take some time for this to cycle through after... I don't know if they pay before they order or if they, you know, real life they pay after. I don't know how this type of situation works. But as of right now, we're still losing some money on it, but that's, that's all right. I don't know if restaurants really are intended to make money. They're just there. Um, but we can claim the reward of $1,100 now. Have a restaurant with at least two rooms. That's one challenge completed for us. Now all we need to do is have 25 people visit your restaurant for two months in a row. Um, does it say... Customers last month, so it hasn't even been open a full month yet. Number of brands that are being used by the restaurant, three. 15 out of 42 tables are taken, maybe make that 14. Last month's profit, missed sales last month. So I have a feeling it's gonna take a little bit of time for this to, I mean, we were losing $800, now we're to 660. All right, so let's let that kind of do its thing. And now I want to do the next challenge, which is hotel. Uh, castle, classical, fairy tale, Ghostbusters, Parkside, Riviera, Riviera, Victorian, Western. I could have swore we had a... You know what? Let's see here. Let's try this real quick. Um... I'm going to visit the workshop real quick, just so that way we can try to find something. All right, so I found a hotel, and if you kind of look, you can kind of see it right now. Um, you see the the restaurant we just put in not too long ago. We are making a little bit of profit off of it. Um, 
negative $368 last month, but we had 92 customers last month. Um, have a hotel with 200, uh, two rooms. We found a hotel. I did place it. Um, and it, it fits the theming quite nice. Um, so I'm going to claim this reward now. And I will go ahead and take you around. Like I said, you can see it over there. I don't have any pass hooked up to it yet. Just go ahead and follow the path on down around. I can stay on the path. Go past here. And I'll extend this out more. If you slowly pan over. There it is. The castaway. So. Oop, too far. Wow, I'm underneath. There we go. All right, so here is our hotel. So I'll just have to put in some pathways here and get it open for the public. All right, so that took a little longer than I expected because it was a pain in the butt to try to get these. I was trying to get these squared off, um, like the scenery, but it just would not stay. So I decided to say heck with it and it is how it is. So we have the path coming out of the hotel, going down both sides, going around the center little garden area and then coming out into here. So now we should have people going to the hotel, but I want to advertise for it. So let's make sure people know about it. That had advertised destinations and bam, confirm. All right, so now People should be going to the hotel. And that means people will be staying at the park for a longer amount of time because now when they're tired, they'll just, instead of leaving the park, they'll go to the hotel, stay, and then go back and ride some more rides. Oh so, yeah, there's a lot of people actually going to it. That's 
Pretty nice. No recent thoughts for the hotel. Okay. 52 rooms. Um, got quite a few standard rooms and then quite a few luxury rooms as well. Uh, standard room costs $10, luxury room 12 Priority pass required. We could actually do that for luxury, but and it's not going to be fair to the rest of them. So we have room service, restaurant, internet access, spa, gym, and an arcade. And right now we've lost $2,578, but we have quite a few people going up into it. It looks like they're all going to the right. I wonder why they're not going to the left. Kind of weird. But we do have quite a few people going up there, so... And then I was wondering what the strange noise was. I was, like, trying to work with this up in here. I was like, man, what is that weird noise? And you can hear it. And here... It's a bubble machine! I was like, you have got to be kidding me! <laughs> Alright. So... We've expanded the park a little bit more just from restaurants and a hotel, which actually have 25 people visit your restaurant for two months in a row. We got that. Achieve a scenery rating of a 240. What are we at right now? Scenery rating 217. So that's actually getting up there. Have 13 people visit your hotel for three months in a row. I think we've seen more than 13 people walking in there. So as long as they keep on flooding in like they are right now for the next three months, We'll be good to go. All right. So we've got the challenges like we wanted to. We got the restaurant in like we want to because we set these goals at the end of last episode. We got the challenges. We got the restaurant. We got the hotel. Now, um, we have $10,000. Not quite enough right now for um, a roller coaster, but... Let's see, do we have any additional thrill rides? Ooh, sundial. Who doesn't love a sundial? Everybody loves a little good sundial here. Um, okay, so it's swinging left and right this way. So let me turn this around so the exit is closest to the path. And the funny thing is, is that we've already got the path. Look at that. I didn't even... How did I manage that one? I just built this path in, not realizing that that's like a perfect arc for the ride. Oh, I'm good. Nah, I'm not trying to toot my own horn. I just got lucky. Not gonna lie. All right, so let's do that. So we got the entrance going on them steps and the people exiting down them steps. Them steps, yes, them steps. All right, so let's get a queue in here. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of people wanting to ride this ride, so... I'm gonna leave that sand. I'm not putting the wood in. So let's go ahead and bring this out. And I'm gonna select the grid. Bring this out a little bit. And then... Like I said, I have a feeling there's going to be a, quite a few people want to ride this, and we want as many people riding as we possibly can. Prestige on this bad boy 453 and then the other thing is too I'm gonna set the price for what the prestige is now because once we do the scenery the prestige is gonna go up so I know people are gonna be like oh it's too expensive but then after I set the price it'll actually be worth more than what we're actually charging so $12.94 so let's go to money. Twelve dollars ninety-four cents. All right. Now let's go ahead and get some scenery in here. You know what? Wonder if 
I can take some scenery out of this bad boy. That way we're not searching around. I was actually thinking about maybe taking, because there's like a little area right here. And there's also this area here. I wonder if, grab this. I wonder if I grab these trees here. Can I do this? Oh, that's gonna grab the whole dang thing. Do not want to do that. Do not want to do that. That would be bad. So let's just go ahead and grab up some of this. Hundred percent. There we go. All right, and now six oh one. So yes, it definitely went up. So six oh one. Six oh one divided by thirty five. That'd be seventeen dollars and seventeen cents. So let's move this to fifteen. And then open. And since the music stopped, that means there's music on this ride we need to get rid of. Uh, full load. No wait. And there we go. Rid of you. And then the other thing I actually did around the park. You can't hear it here because I don't have any speakers here. You should be able to hear it around here. I added some different type of speakers. You can't really hear it too much. Ooh, floating bush. There we go. Scenery. Speakers. Alright, there we go. Ooh. And I hide them. Copy that. Should be another one over here somewhere. But I don't hear the music over here either. Been scattering these speakers throughout the park. So that way, there's some music everywhere. Basically putting them, if you can't hear music, I put a speaker. You can't see that speaker in there. Oh, I guess you can. Let's move that. Can't see it now. Alright. Um, but yeah, I have speakers... Not in the queues, but along the, the main path here. That way we have, like, some ambient sounds. I actually hear the drums around here somewhere. Alright. We're down to nine thousand um, dollars. I know one of the other goals was to put in a coaster this ride, or this 
a coaster this ride, a coaster this episode, but we uh, spent quite a bit of money. I mean, we had $30,000 starting this episode off, but after building a hotel, a restaurant, I mean, these are some big pieces of scenery here. I mean, they, there was a good chunk of change. I mean, this right here was 15,000 for the restaurant and the hotel was 15,000. So right there was 30,000. And then we put in another flat ride to bring in more people, um, which it's working. A lot of people are going to it. Uh Oh, let me guess too expensive. No, why aren't they going on it then? They walk up to it and they turn around, but there's not, there's no reason for them to not go on there. Um, let's go to staff. Got these to fully train up and then entertainers. Let's train them up a little bit more so that Captain Lockjaw is going to be fully trained out and Miss Ellie still will have one spot left to go. All right, so how much money has this made us so far? Lifetime profit 749 and just oh my. And this is why I wanted to put in a larger queue. Cuz look at all the people just packing into there. So, I think here before you know it, this ride will already be turning a profit for us. But, as I was saying a little bit ago, we've spent quite a bit of money here so far, just expanding out this side of the park. I kind of want to take this and start wrapping it around the back side of the hotel and then back up over to here. Um, that way it's not just dead ending over here, but I also ha have a bunch more room. Let's see here. I think we can go all the way. You can just kind of see a, a line right here where the trees kind of stop right here. I think this is the line of the park. So, I mean, we can utilize this whole area. Why I can't build up in here. I have no idea because you can see the line of the park clear as day right there. So I don't know why. I mean, unless this is the line. Either way, why can we not build anything right in here? That's just weird. But we have plenty of room to still expand over this way with flat rides and stuff like that. Um, so we're keeping things pretty well alive down through here now. With, uh, let me try to level off here. We got the hotel there, new flat ride that people are loving. And then also we have the restaurant. I didn't want to put the restaurant where there was too many other food places. So that way people would actually want to go to the restaurant. Now you can hear that music. But uh, yeah, how's the restaurant doing now? Is that kind of, is that turning profit for us now? 282 dollars of lifetime profit so yes we are gaining a profit hey look at there have 43 people visit your restaurant for one month in a row so we had over 43 people in one month so there's another 1100 dollars another challenge checked off the list so we are still very profitable it's just taking some time we're up to 15,000 so just a little bit ago we were at 9,000 so I have a feeling we are getting to that point in time, ladies and gentlemen, that we are, we are, not we our, we are almost ready for our first actual roller coaster for our little tropical themed amusement park. So, hope you guys are enjoying the series. Thank you for watching. If you guys are enjoying, don't forget to smash that like button. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check me out on Twitch, Tingo75, and you will be able to see live content there. 
Um, I'm planning on possibly live streaming a little bit of Planet Coaster this weekend. I'm not quite sure, but we do have other material to live stream, such as our NASCAR League races, uh, some Phasmophobia, and American Truck Simulator, and whatever else I decide to live stream, I will live stream it. So, hope to see everybody over there as well. Thank you for watching. Thank you for you guys' support. And I will see you guys next time. See ya. Arr.